Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. Welcome to the vlog. Okay, so today I ran some errands. <laughs> oh my goodness. And my intentions were for Walmart, Target, Ross Home Goods, and Aldi. But it was somewhere. Oh, and Costco for tomatoes. But oh yeah, I'm tired. <laughs> I didn't get to do all that. By the time I spent all that money on like little shirts and stuff for the girls and Ross that they asked for, these crop shirts, I was like, okay. But I did go to Home Goods. I actually filmed a little bit in Home Goods. Um, I originally went to Home Goods because I was looking for hemp seeds, flax seeds, maybe coconut sugar, maybe some like organic snacks, some raw nuts, macadamia nuts, that type of thing. Also, I often buy my coffee from um, home goods as well. They always have the pods for the Nespresso machine, the original machine. And then I was looking for popcorn because I like to get popcorn from them. So they had a bunch of snacks, of course, and I'll, you know, make sure I'm inserting enough footage for you all to see. And I absolutely love shopping in this particular home goods. Unfortunately, what I was looking for most, the hemp seeds, they did not have, but they had a ton of the other nuts and I tend to find them there, um, cheaper than Trader Joe's. So and if I can find them with, you know, the 16 ounces for like five ninety nine and under, I try to like grab them, right? Because I have a bunch of jars I need to refill. My refrigerator is all the way empty. I just cleaned it. Actually, it's not all the way empty. Let me show you. Hey, y'all, I just wanted to hop in for a moment. If you're looking for healthy snacks, you're starting off on your health food journey, right? You're one of the ones that like to snack, eat nuts, eat chips, all that kind of stuff. Try Home Goods. Home Goods always has really nice um, variety of snacks, a lot of vegan snacks, raw snacks, figs, a bunch of like mixed nuts. They don't have all that salt and sugar in them and they don't have anything added, I should say, no dyes or anything like that. And if you're looking for like organic coffees or coffees from around the world at really good affordable prices, definitely check out Home Goods. I buy a lot of coffee here. I found this new brand for me, which is Good Citizen, that I plan on trying out soon. They had a ton of coffees. Uh, for the Nespresso as well, but they're normally the original packets. So make sure you check them out before buying in store. I did go to Aldi yesterday and pick up a few things, not a lot. I just picked up stuff for them to eat yesterday, basically, because, you know, I clean out my refrigerator on Mondays. So it's basically empty. Got them some almond milk, just a little simple stuff. But all this is like leftover food from yesterday. They had rice, black eyed peas, salmon, broccoli, and Brussels sprouts. That's what they had for dinner yesterday. So I got a little bit left over. I had some mushrooms I picked up. And then for the most part, I just picked up a few onions, like little stuff I could eat yesterday, like a salad. I really wasn't that hungry yesterday. And then I got some grapes, which was so good. I went back and got more. I went back and got more oranges because they were so good. And then we got some plums. So this is what my refrigerator looks like <laughs> basically on Mondays. I mean, it is what it is. We're used to it. So today I'm probably going to do a walnut taco meat for myself. Um, the kids want tacos today too since it's Taco Tuesday. But I figured I'd just show you what I picked up while I was out today. Let's just do like a quick haul. It's probably won't be that quick. And while I'm doing this haul, I'll probably just insert footage of me actually putting everything away and how I put everything away. So where do we start? Where do we start? There's so much going on. I bought some, I did go to Walmart first before I went to Home Goods. So I'll just show you that I got some cleaning products to mop the floor with. We actually like this scent. It is the New Day. It is the Mango and Hibiscus. So I did pick up that. Some more sponges, even though I prefer the Scrub Daddies. I just don't like going to H-E-B right now. I'll probably go later, but just not right now. Walmart, Penny asked for some more hangers. She likes these hangers instead of the velvet hangers. She said the velvet hangers are harder for her shirts to come off. She has a small frame, so her shirts are normally kind of like small. So I guess the velvet, she ends up having to either take it off the top or it stretches the neck. So she has hangers now. She can actually split that with Tara if she wants to. Um, Christopher needed a pump for his tank for his turbo yes we still have a turbo we still have a turbo y'all uh jordan i picked up this is the only scent i actually really like and this is orange buttercream and cupcake so i picked this up for that diffuser that we normally plug in at night this smell like fruity pebbles i'll tell y'all this is so freaking good so anyway i started to buy a bunch of these but i was like stop stop i'm trying to switch over to a different scent and i just cannot 
I went to the garden center area because I was looking for some fertilizer. I need fertilizer um, liquid. I want the, it's something bloom and it's like an organic one. You, it's like a liquid like the Alaskan fish fertilizer. They didn't have any. Like what's going on? I was like, I guess they're gearing up for like, you know how they throw everything in that area for like Christmas and Black Friday or whatever. So I did find some seeds. I just picked up these randomly. Every time I go like and I see seeds somewhere, I just try to pick up random seeds. So this is like an organic cabbage and this is a tomato and it's the sweet hundred. Sweet 100. I love these. We grew a lot of these this year. So I just pick them up to add to whatever. So bags. Let's just find somewhere to put these bags. Okay. Walmart, right? So then we went to Home Goods. So when I went to Home Goods, I um this is what I purchased at Home Goods. Let me show you. Oh, I also bought these pretzels at Walmart. I was looking for popcorn, y'all. Just regular skinny popcorn i've been wanting something salty and i was like let me just get the skinny popcorn and all, they had all these flavors and no regular popcorn so i just picked up a bag of pretzels and ate like five or six pretzels i just wanted something while i was out and I, you know how it is when you're hungry so i did find some coffee there so i always kind of find these two brands when i go this one right here is the Russi, Russi, or something like that i do like their coffee um this one's really good. It's a medium, mild flavor like coffee. Yeah, the yellow ones. I like the yellow ones and the red ones. I don't know what the red ones I think are bold, but I like these. And this one right here, I do like this brand too. I think it's Celestone, so Celestone, something like that. But anyway, this is the number seven. So when you think about the coffee um, strength in coffee, you see right there, it tells you like basically what it said. My nails dirty. That's from being in and out going grocery store. Let me go wash my hands. Um, I was I've been in all the stores, so I'm not even surprised. Let me go wash my hands. So I ended up getting two packs of these, and I'll just be putting things away. All right. So also at um, Home Goods, yeah, that's much better. I also picked up this coffee. I get this every year around this time. It is the Butterscotch Caramel Mousse Crunch Coffee. This is so good. It smells like that popcorn with coffee kind of like thing that you get the mousse crunch. Oh my goodness. I used to eat a lot of that. That caramel with the nuts back in the day. Hmm. I got some organic chia seeds. We needed some more of these. Yeah, I need hemp seeds. I'm going to have to go buy hemp seeds from somewhere. I might have to go to the raw spot. I need actually. I went to a whole nother one. So I picked up some raw nuts. That's what I'm saying. They always have like the walnuts, the cashews, macadamias, raw at home goods most of the time. And this bag was $5.99. So instead of paying eight and nine dollars for this bag, yeah. I need that. Because I'm gonna do walnut tacos. I plus I use it for my walnut milk. So I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but I'm gonna try to get a lot done in this video. Maybe the next video will just be all prep. That's what we we'll do. Salad toppers. I got the protein pack one. The other one was the sweet pack one. They had like the raisins, the cranberries, and all that. So this one has edamame, cranberries, cashews, and sunflower seeds. So it's seven grams of protein per serving. Now, whereas this one has a little bit more sodium, 40, 40 grams, but only seven grams of sugar, the sweeter version of this that you put on your salads, I don't remember what's all was in that one. That one actually has more sugar and i was like i'll just get this i mean i just want some like crunch on my salad that's all and then i got some cocoa nibs i haven't had these in so long we used to do these um banana nice creams so you do the banana the cocoa powder and then um cocoa powder then almond milk and cocoa nibs right and it reminds you of a wendy's frosty forget the vanilla powder i used to buy um, I think it's from Vega One, Vega One, Vega One, or whatever. So if you mix that with the cocoa powder, cocoa nibs, frozen bananas, and almond milk, and let that, I'm telling you, it was so close to the Wendy's Frosty. It was crazy. All right, so then I picked up at Ross, since I didn't see any of the sugars I wanted. They had the monk proof sugars, but I didn't want that. I wanted the coconut sugar, and I want coconut flour, or almond flour, which I just need to get that from all of these. And I wanted hemp seeds. So I did find the sugar at Ross, which I always do. And this is the coconut sugar. How much was this? Like four bucks, $3.99? Yeah, they're like $3.99. So I picked this up because we needed this. I picked up the Sprayway Cleaner. 
Let's pick up one can. Some more of these towels because I don't know if they're eating them, what they're doing with them, but they, I believe, yeah. Microfiber towels. Once every, what, three months? Like, this is ridiculous. Then I headed on over to Aldi. So, let's put some of this stuff away, and then I'll come back and let's go on Aldi. Picked up some creamer from Aldi. It's not the best. They come in a larger container now. You get more bang for your book, but it's an almond creamer. Ba basically got it for the girls because I hardly ever even use creamer in my coffee anymore. And I'm just not even a um I don't even need it anymore. It's kind of sweet to me now, but I did pick it up and I'm sure it has it just says plant based. Got us a, a got a Nespresso cup. <laughs> mm. So let's pull out the stuff I picked up from Aldi. And so for this week, I'm just going to do plant-based this week. And a few raw foods. Like I have a taste for like those wraps. I made some yesterday. If I have it, I'll put it here. But I made some of those yesterday. And they were so good. I feel like I want to eat more of those. I just don't have any coconut aminos. I didn't go to another grocery store for that. But I did pick up a bag of spinach, actually two bags. I'm gonna put one of these in one of those containers, my freezer containers, and freeze it so I can have it for like my smoothies sometime. Even though I don't like to add spinach to smoothies anymore, but every once in a while I do, but Tara does it all the time. So one I can eat real quick, and the other one I'll just freeze some more ginger, we needed ginger. I actually dried a ton, ton of ginger yesterday. So the lowest that my oven goes on is 170. I put it on 170, I put some parchment paper down. I literally took the ginger and grated it on the larger grade instead of like the small ones, right? And I laid it out on parchment paper and dried it for my teas and this is what it looks like. Oh my God, y'all this smells so good. So I've been needing some more ginger. The crystallized ginger is uh, kind of sweet to me right now. I get from the Asian market, but I just figured I would dry some. So I dried a jar yesterday, and it basically was like taking this and drying it. Um, well, less than that. I didn't eat that much, but yeah. So I have that. I did do that. Um, I picked up the kids some of these potato puffs. I don't know how good or bad these things are. They like to uh, throw them in the air fryer in the morning while they're waiting on the bus. So I really don't care. I don't mind that at all. So I bought these for them. Oh wow. <laughs> so instead of putting them in the container, she threw them in the freezer. So they're already in here ready to go. Because we like to freeze them first before we put them in the container. So let me just show you how we do this. I'm going to throw this in the fridge for right now. Well, I got to put it in the container. I'm going to throw it right now and then I'm going to show you how we put these in a the container for uh, smoothies. So basically, when you freeze these in a the bag like this, um, which I normally ask her to wash them first. <laughs> so just wash them first, y'all. But normally we wash them and then we put them in a Ziploc bag after they kind of like rinse them out and dry them. Because when they freeze like this, they'll crumble. They'll literally crumble. And once they crumble, it's easier for it to blend quicker when we make the smoothies. So it'll be like, it'll look like, um, Almost like parsley, like we literally just grab a scoop and you can scoop some out. So that's how we like to do it when it's frozen. And it doesn't stick. We have really nice, good um, co sealed containers for the freezer. So we normally wash them first, but she didn't wash them. And if I leave it out now, it's going to be really soggy. So, yeah. Yeah, I know how I am about washing my food. So this is probably going to bother me. <laughs> But it's okay. Mm. Yeah, she didn't. I think she just threw it in there, wasn't thinking. Well, we don't even have any Ziploc bags to, to freeze them on anyway, to freeze them in. So she probably wouldn't. She probably just thought, well, okay, you know. So this will go in the freezer. And this will be one container of frozen spinach that they can put in their smoothies or whatever. 
If you do decide to get these, I'll link them down below there in my Amazon store. They come like this. So you have the larger one and the smaller one. I think you get three large, three small, basically. And um, I use them for bananas, strawberries, whatever's on sale. That's what we're freezing, basically. So this will last <laughs> this week. And then we'll wash the next set and freeze it. <laughs> oh my goodness. These kids, yeah. So let's keep going with the cold foods. I'm gonna show you what I got in the um, from UPS. Um, yeah, I did get some more pavano peppers. I eat this every day, y'all. Every day, I just uh, you know what? I have had so hard of a time growing pavano peppers. I'm gonna really focus on how to grow these because I, I eat so many of them. Some tofu. Don't even know what I'm gonna put it in this week. Some avocados that'll last like a day as soon as they ripen up because y'all know you can't keep that here. I need to go to Costco. I really need to go to Costco. I'll go tomorrow and we'll just go together, okay? Some cheese for these kids because they're doing taco night tonight. Um, some limes. Hopefully I can make a small pico, you know, if I have everything for pico. And then these, I almost said ghetto grapes. <laughs> these huge grapes. That's what Kitty kept saying yesterday. It's some big old grapes. And they are so sweet. I was like, oh my God. Yesterday, I ate like maybe two or three grapes. And Christopher was like, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So I'm thinking like, what happened? What's going on? He was like, you swallowed the grape. And I was like, I did. Like the skin is so thin. It didn't have that thick rubbery skin that green grapes have. And I never eat green grape skin. Never. And I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to wash these. Toss these in the fridge, toss these in the fridge. Yeah, let's put this stuff away and then uh, let's open this box, y'all. Look how big these are. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, these are huge. They look so good. I can't wait to eat like a whole sugar of these. Oh my God. I got the wrong water on. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Yeah. We just doing everything wrong today, ain't we? Look at this. <gasps> oh, they look so good. Don't get clean from me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, I can't wait to eat that. Thinking, I'm thinking I have enough to make a pico today. I think I'm going to use one for like, like when I'm making the, uh, whatever, pico and the um, meat. And I'm going to use a red onion. Some of this Mexican garlic. So let's put this away. Girl, this ginger looks so good. I was like, look at this. Don't it look good? Man. So that's going in there. I'm going to break this up some. And then we have, what else goes in this drawer? Some more piblanos. So let's take these out because I'm going to eat this today. We need some more onions. I didn't know that. Because we only have like three. Um, this is normally like the, I don't even know if y'all can see in here, the avocado drawer. Y'all probably can't. And it's like no avocados in here. So we have some in the window though. But it's all good. I like them cold. Just so y'all know. I like avocados and onions cold. I know people are like, why is that in there? Alright, and then we got some limes. Which I don't know where we're going to put these limes. Because to be honest, I got all these oranges that's going here. Well, we'll just put them here in the front. And we're going to need the limes for our um, pico too. So let's leave one out. Yeah, we don't even have a lot of tomatoes. Y'all, my fish oil looks horrible. I don't know if y'all see that. Like this, so this is normally we keep all the avocados. And like onions and peppers are normally here. But during the year when we're growing it. We, it's usually like full, full. So, yeah. But let me grab this stuff so I can at least put it to the side to cook. All right. So, people always ask me about these containers, y'all. They're expensive. They used to not be this expensive. We used to get these from Costco or like um, Sam's back in the day. The, I think it's Costco. These are the... Uh, what are these called? What is this brand? Oh, my goodness. It just left my mind. It's on one of these. Um, Rubbermaid, right? But it is 
the ones with the vent on the side and it tells you at the top depends on what you're putting in here what you vent i've had these for years <laughs> years so they're expensive but i'm talking about like six years or so like i've had these for a long time just so you know so um yeah i'm gonna put all the spinach in here i said get some more lettuce and then they'll just wash as they go and that's probably what Penny Mine was thinking. Wash as I go, but they're frozen, so you can't wash it when it's frozen. Just or you know, teenagers. I'm just gonna throw it in the freezer. But yeah, we we wash as we go. Just makes it easier instead of pre-washing it, because I never know what they're using it for, especially if it's cooking or salads or whatever. So yeah, this will be the spinach, and then we'll do their lettuce. Because they're going to want lettuce, I'm sure, for their... Either they're going to have the tacos and taco shell, or taco bowls, whatever they want. I really don't care. I just make the stuff, and then they fix it how they want. I'm just going to put them in here. And then they'll chop them up how they want them. But something like this will last me, like, one... This is, like, one day of, of food. Like, a one salad. Like, if the kids were making a salad, they would literally chop... Everybody would chop one of these. For their salads like I, it just amazes me how i get so many questions about how we have so much food like this is not even one salad to be honest it, this is not even a salad no no way let's put it in here no way yeah this is not going to be in the refrigerator long for hours because <laughs> knowing them they're about one of the girls are probably like a taco salad so yeah, the rubber made something. I forget what these are called, but these are like the airtight ones. And then this is like the ones which you can change and vent a lot. So that's why I have to buy so much lettuce. Because this will last like two days and then this will be gone tonight. So, by the way, Wednesday is whatever Wednesday. So, whatever's left over from yesterday's dinner, whatever's left over from today, they'll do something with it on Wednesday. So that's why I'm not tripping on leftovers stuff, stuff from yesterday because actually Sunday they had the black eyed peas and rice and then uh, we just added everything else to yesterday like the salmon and all that so yeah Wednesday's whatever Wednesday so they'll do what they want to do with that oh Wednesday so I got this box of wood turn around but it has her dress on it and I don't know whatever she paid quite a penny to ship this <laughs> girl thank you already how are we going to open this Oh, okay. The tape is already kind of bowling. Let's get some open split. All right. So I haven't seen it. I have no idea. No idea. I didn't know she asked me if she could make one. I did go on her Instagram and was like, "Oh, these are pretty." Okay. <laughs> these cute. These are creative. <laughs> Nothing I've ever done before. Ugh. Come on. She packaged that thing right. Y'all ready to see? I'm nervous. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, but I'm nervous. I'm sure this is the back because I'm opening the box backwards. But it's huge. Oh my God. And she sent some other stuff. Oh my God. What is this? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Look how she packaged everything. Oh my God, you're so pretty. Look how pretty this is. Look how huge it is. This thing is huge. Like, double door huge. This is huge. This is pretty. It is that grapevine. Is that what y'all call it? Oh my God, this is so, it is so neutral. It's so me. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the uh, the leaves right here. Look at that. That is so, it's huge. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, I don't know what all this is. She, girl, she didn't send me the wrapper paper. I'm going she did it on accident. <laughs> it just says, uh, thank you. It says, thank you. 
Thank you for what, girl? No, let me thank you. Oh my God. Oh, she did everything. I've never seen this. Silk plant treatment. Treatment for, I guess, for plants. I guess if they're outdoors, you just spray this. Hold on, let me tap the light. I've never seen this before. Oh my gosh, send me a whole bottle. She could just tell me to go buy this stuff. Oh my goodness. Silk and Splendor. I've never even heard of this before. Have y'all ever used this before? Apply it to the surface. Um, so you mean tell me I could have preserved like my wreaths and stuff a long time ago? <laughs> what? I never even knew this. Cleans, uh, beautifies, and protects. I've never seen this before. Oh my God, she sent me a hook. Cause you know, the, the hook I got is Bougetto. It really is, it's silver. It's like a Christmas song, I don't know, whatever. We're gonna use this hook frame. Oh, and then she sent an, a wreath hanger. So either one we could do. Girl, we about to hang this up. Oh my God, put it here so y'all can see what my door looks like. This is huge. This is my whole door. I don't know if you can see how big this is like on camera. Like this is huge. Am I that big? Okay. This is huge. That's big. This is so pretty. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, honey. I had to send this video to her. I'm oh, I just need her information. Y'all need to get a uh, gallery. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, she did a really good my wreath looks like nothing compared to this. My roof looks really cheap in <laughs> comparison to this. Okay. Look at the, the leaves, like on the inside too. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I like this a lot. Oh, honey, that was so sweet. Oh, this is so sweet. It's so heavy too. This is so pretty. I'm gonna stop saying it's so pretty, but y'all, it's so pretty to me. Oh my gosh, she sent me a whole packet. What is this? Reef Care and Instructions Packet. It says, making homes beautiful one door at a time. <gasps> that is so cute. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh, she have a whole price sheet and everything. Facebook, her Facebook is um, at Christopher Name McKeever, uh, Queen, oh Queen, I'm gonna put it right here. Making homes beautiful one day at a time. Oh my gosh, she got a whole price sheet. May go to uh, flower for making wreath or... Okay, so she says, my, she says, uh, it's like a note. And it says, my go-to flower for making wreath are hydrangeas, but I can use any type of flower of your choice. Rose, roses, lilies, peonies, dahlias, daisies, sunflowers, chrysanthemum, gardenia to include lavender. Also I like lavender. Oh my God, this is so nice. Girl, come on friend with your folder. Ma'am, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at the purple. This is so pretty. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh my God. This is a pretty good idea. The Overdoor Wreath Hanger. So you can get one that's just regular or adjustable. Okay. It depends on your door. Well, I don't need a long one. I definitely can use this, this one right here because I, my door is not that big for him. She gave me a, a, a wreath like I got a big, like a big Zoa. Um... Okay, so she she gives us instructions on how to use this. Thank you. Because you know I wasn't going to read the back. You know I was not going to read the back. All right. It says, keep your wreath clean by using a blow dryer on cool setting to blow off dust. Take your, root, your wreath down during inclement weather. Fluff bowls and flowers. Place a dryer sheet on the back of your wreath to ensure uh, to keep bird's nests away. Oh, my God. I never thought about that. I have never thought about that. And we always get lizards on my wreath. I will put dry sheets in the back of my wreath. I never even thought about that. This is heavy, y'all. Like, this is heavy. Oh, I can't wait. Oh, I can't. I know my kids don't come home and be like, that's what that was? Oh, my God, it's pretty. Let's get back to the grocery haul. I know I'm excited. Excuse me. <laughs> Over here. And I'm going to put this on the door. Oh, my God. This box is huge. So I'm saying it here first. Christmas, I'm ordering a wreath from her. I'm definitely gonna support her for Christmas. Yes, yes, you did that. Girl, I got all the cabinet doors open. I look like I'm struggling over here. Hold on. All right. More groceries. More groceries. 
That is so sweet. That is so nice. Y'all just do so much for me. Sometimes I just be like overwhelmed. And I gave her my home address because I was like, well, if you're sending a wreath, I don't know how big it is. And I don't want you to send it to the post office. Because my post office was stacked boxes on top of boxes. I would, my heart would have been crushed had that went to the post office. I would, I know it would have been smashed. All right, so um, I, I went to get a case of bananas, but they 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 had to weigh them separately, so I had to take them out the box. So anyway, it's basically a case in here. And so y'all know we eat them, we make smoothies, we freeze them. Yeah, I mean, if I eat these on the counter, my kids don't eat these. It, I, I have to hurry up and like chop them up and freeze them before they come home. So I'll be doing that. I'm going to leave some out though. But this is basically, I don't know how many pounds, a lot of pounds of bananas. So I'll leave a couple out. The rest of these, yeah, I'm chopping and freezing. All right, let's see what's in here. Probably junk. I got through some junk. Some chips. Y'all keep telling me not to buy all the chips. I know. And then these bags, which is normally what we like. Yeah, this. <laughs> All right, so we did black beans last week. I cooked black beans in a pressure cooker and they did like refry black beans last week. I don't know what it is about these beans. These beans in this can. These kids like these beans. And I was like, we have pinto beans in the pantry. I could just cook them and we could just mash them and then do a little oil, put them in the pan and make your own refried bean. I don't know why. They they like these. Do y'all like these from all these? I mean, some stuff I just don't really care in mind. You know, my kids eating it. Some stuff I'd be like, like, we got all these dried beans. We can make this. But they're, they're just not down for me making it. So maybe mine don't taste like that. I don't know. This probably has meat in it, too. Now that I think about it. It probably has, um, okay, that's the wind outside. Girl, sprinkle today. It don't say it contain nothing. It just says contain it don't say it contain like meat or anything or or maybe it's down here. No, it doesn't. What's that juice that's in here then? I don't know. I don't know. It's not for me. Definitely not for me, honey. It grosses me out to, to even pour it out the container. <laughs> so I did get some more um olive oil, the organic olive oil for my salads. I did get um another one of these. They love this stuff. Yeah, they love this stuff. Herdes, okay, and taco shells. They did not want tostadas this time, the organic tostadas. Um, some, I was gonna say manzanitas. Girl, this is mandis, but these are those uh, mandarins. So, what is a manzanita? What is that? Why is it in my mind? Um, I don't know. I don't know why it's in my mind. And they have ground turkey. See, I know my kids eat meat like maybe twice a week. Maybe most of the time my kids eat meat once a week. I'm going to be honest. About once a week they're, they're, they have meat. And it's going to be a chicken or a fish, right? Every blue moon we do the ground turkey. Sometimes they do not. Tara's the only one who likes the walnut meat. Penny and Christopher are like, no, we don't want that. We, the, you, that's yours. You can have it. Um, but they will eat the bean tacos and don't care at all about the meat. Yesterday, Christopher asked for a ground turkey and then he was gonna cook the tacos tonight. <laughs> That's what happened when he goes to his daddy's house <laughs> for like a weekend. He come back at requesting, you know, because he don't like ground beef. So, unless it's a burger. So he came back requesting to make his own tacos. He wanted to cook for everybody. So he'll be cooking for everybody today. Um, the rest of the stuff I'm about to put up real quick and let's make my tacos. Let's prep maybe a mini salsa real quick. Let's prep, um, Whatever else we got to put up and prep, let's just do that. Girl, I got a read. It is cute. <laughs> Friend. Girl, that's my new whole girl. She better ask them my message. She probably be like me. Don't even get the messages on Messenger. This coffee is good, girl. Mmm. And my little teacup. I love this little witch's teacup. I don't know why I like this little teacup. I need um, I need some espresso cups that fit underneath that machine. That's what I need. All right, let me stop. I gotta read. Hey, hey. So, I also got some almonds. I, I don't know. I just use this for whatever. It's not enough to do anything with. They didn't really have a big bag at um, Homeless, but this came from Aldi's. 
So you can just do square the almonds like on something, salads or whatever you want to do. Or yeah, so I got this. You can just do a bottle from anywhere now. Um, what's the place? Uh, uh, Amazon or whatever. So this is grapeseed oil. I like actually cooking with grapeseed oil than putting it in my salad. I do prefer the avocado oil or the extra virgin olive oil in my salad. I don't know why. I remember I used to make this oil for the girl's hair out of grapeseed oil. Y'all. By the way, Tara cut her hair yesterday. Oh my God. Like seven inches off at least. Oh my God. <sighs> but child, that was once me. So whatever. I'm minding my business. I refilled all the jars yesterday, right? So the ones I had like backups of just in my top cabinet. So like the black salt needed refilling, ginger, cinnamon. We use ginger powder a lot and teas. Cumin, chili powder, paprika, turmeric. We need nutritional yeast so bad. And then I just bought a few more of these. This is garlic powder. I just really need to put it in here, but I need to wash this one before I put it in here. So I'll wait till this is empty. And then I picked up this lemon pepper, which what they had yesterday on their salmon. Um, they liked it, so another this because we need this so bad. So I picked this up yesterday, and then this is just a little extra, whatever. And I did uh, dry some basil yesterday too. So I know I didn't almost forget this was in here, girl. That's what happens when you're hungry. You get to doing stuff, and you just feel like I'm tripping. Girl, them grapes, let me tell y'all, I am not a green grape fan. And these are so sweet. This is how much I bought yesterday. And y'all see how much was up in the refrigerator. I probably should just, I was scared to buy like, you know, $15 worth because I was like, what if this is the one time I go and buy all these grapes and they don't eat them all. But I guess if they didn't eat them fast enough, I could have just juiced them. I didn't think of that. I might go back to Aldi. Tomorrow's a new sale day though, right? Or tomorrow's the last day for the sale, I should say. They probably don't even have any. Oh my God, they're huge. Huge. Mm, mm, mm. These are so sweet, y'all. What's going on? Okay. I need to see quick. These are bigger than the normal size. Uh, Measures, huh? Oh, maybe not. Mm. No, we don't put these in containers, honey. Because these are sweet. And this is how much I had yesterday. I had these two full yesterday. So I can guarantee you, by the end of the day, this one, even look like, one of these trays are probably gone. Cause I'm gonna eat half a tray by myself. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness, they're so good. Look how big this getting. <laughs> Crazy. I need to film that too. All right, so I gotta go to Indian grocery. The hell out of soil, and I need to get some chili flakes or chili powder. I need some cinnamon. We have no backup cinnamon. We washed all these containers yesterday, so they're ready to be refilled. We need a big thing of garlic powder. That's in, empty. Paprika's empty. I'm telling y'all, we go through this stuff. We go through this stuff, for real. I do have some backup cinnamon. Because they do a cinnamon stick, I, I don't know, it, one a day. Everybody do a cinnamon stick, I don't know. But um, we do a lot when it comes to teas. A lot. I should just put them in here like So this is one bag just fit in here. Yeah. And it, you know, we normally make a tea, drink a tea, and then like you, how you refill it with hot water again with this and brown sugar, girl, and some mint leaves. This is the tea. 
This is my backup cabinet, and look how empty it is. There's no onion powder. There's no parsley flakes. What is this one? There's no minced onion. Like nothing. We see how nutritional yeast is almost empty. We do have salt. I did refill the cumin because we had a backup of cumin, turmeric. We had some bay leaves. I buy this by the bag too. Got curry powder back there, some anise. But yeah. And y'all know what this is? This is a whole bin of hot sauce. And my kids like trying hot sauce, so that's fine. So the one thing I'm not gonna complain about is what is wrong with this top? What happened? Is somebody putting it on wrong? Something's wrong with the top. Okay. okay. My kids eat more fruit and vegetables than anything, so I don't really complain about the jump here and there. Pretzels. By the way, look what I found at Aldi. You see this? So this is bourbon and wild mint. And it almost smells like a old-fashioned with mint, right? The old-fashioned, the dark liquor with the orange bitters and the mint or something. And some sugar. Oh my god, I'm gonna burn this. Yeah. I gotta well, I gotta cut the wicks first. I gotta find something to cut the wicks with. Hey, honey. So I don't like using the food processor to make um pico. I hate all that extra juice and fuzz that comes out of the tomatoes. So I literally just, I rather chop everything up by hand. I really don't like using that machine. I've said this time and time again, I like to take it, squeeze everything out. And then when you do that, you have more of a dry pico than that extremely soggy, fuzzy, wet. So it's tomatoes, onions, garlic, jalapeno. And let's get some cilantro. It's still wet. I'm gonna put the whole bundle in here. I love cilantro. Like I could literally just probably eat cilantro with salt, pepper, and um, lime juice. Oh my goodness, I love cilantro. I'm probably going to have to put more um, jalapenos in here and more garlic because I've cut up more tomatoes. I only meant to make a small one. I didn't mean to make a large one of these because, um, yeah, I, was, I told them I would make like a container, the one with the beans and then the regular pico. So I'll show it to you in a minute. Let me just add a little bit more of the... Mexican garlic and some more jalapeno. And call it a day. And then I need to make my taco meat. I guess I'll add, I'm not even hungry. All of a sudden I'm not hungry. I had a smoothie by the way, when I went and chilled out for a little bit. So I'm not even hungry. Oh my goodness. I wanted to show y'all the, well I've done it on here a lot of times, especially on Instagram. The walnut meat, where we just take the walnuts and have them soaking in water. And then you take the walnuts and you put them in a food processor. I need to get some more knives. I think Chris needs to go outside. It keeps coming over here. So of course you always need a, a lime and some salt. Let's get y'all back. Why wow, y'all so close? Oh wow, y'all really close there for a minute. Um, Christopher and Tara likes it really tangy, like a lot of lime. 
I don't really care. I like a lot of cilantro and jalapeno. I, I'm going to eat it regardless. So, let me shake this up now. I'll show you what it looks like. And then, I can make my... Let me show you what it looks like. All right, so this is what it looks like when I chop it up by hand and not use that machine. I hate that frothy stuff. So yeah, that is their pico. Or my pico too. Oh, the salt. What are you doing, girl? I just need to shake it up again and throw it in the refrigerator. So these have been soaking for some hours, about two cups. I don't really ever really measure this, to be honest. But they will swell up just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of onion. I'm not going to season it too much because I am going to season the actual like walnut meat with like cumin, chili powder, that kind of stuff sea salt and then I'm going to um, top my taco off with pico so yeah so all I do I'm not doing um, mushrooms this time I just um, pulse it a bit. yeah all right so I'm using chili powder cumin session um, this is actually garlic powder and sea salt so I already have all that in here and a little bit of oil at the bottom of the pan and I just use the um, extra virgin olive oil to kind of give it like as if it was the oil from like the meat kind of whatever actually their ground turkey crazy but um yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and cook this up real quick and make me a taco Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back. All right, so I was in the mood for a taco salad. I started to do a raw salad, but I went ahead and tossed that walnut meat on the stove, added some seasoning, honey, it was good. I went to the garden tower, grabbed some of this spicy arugula, a couple of leaves of lettuce. I already had some chopped lettuce in the refrigerator, so I just added it to it. Added a little bit of pico, a little olive oil, Szechuan, one avocado, a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes, and y'all, this salad was so freaking good. 